Today we're going to be taking a look at some cringe that is so sad and so pathetic it is actually heartbreaking to see. Discord admin blocked the word girlfriend. <laughs> That is the most Discord admin behavior I've ever seen. I don't know what the context is, but we're going to find out. How was college today? Okay. Neat. Where were you after school today? Girlfriend and I went to get by with that sit. And then they flagged the message. No way you blocked girlfriend. That's so crap. <laughs> and you got timed out. All right, so this is a tweet from Mr. Beast. I need your help. Next time you see a fish balls in Walmart, if you could clean up the presentation and make it look better, that would make me very happy. I'm building a team to do this routine. He just needs help in the short term. <laughs> There's just people that... <laughs> I mean, they're definitely expecting Mr. Beast to just send them like 10 grand for doing this, aren't they? They're not doing it for free. Being realistic, they're not doing it for free. They're doing it with like the expectation they're going to get 10 grand. It's like doing something nice for your grandparents because you, you want them to slide you in a little bit extra in the will. <laughs> she got a fake plane just for Instagram. Why the fuck do people do that? Why? It boggles the mind. How can you care so much about what people on the internet think? Now, don't get me wrong. If I actually went in a private Jet, I would be taking all the pictures I could. Why would anyone fake that? It's such a lame thing to fake. Guy who wouldn't leave me alone in the gym until I gave him my correct number can't understand why I don't want to talk to him. How was your workout? Busy already? Hello? Lol? I fucked dozens upon dozens of women and not a single one was able to... <laughs> Why would you admit it's biologically impossible for women to achieve orgasm? I don't know why y'all just be lying on this app for no reason. <laughs> oh my god. No one made you tweet this, my friend. No one made you tweet this. My friend hung out with this guy. She met at a bar. It was casual when he asked for her number before she left. Had an amazing time last night. Hopefully I'll get to see you tonight. I could use some cuddles. That is a very brazen, like, what? third, maybe fourth message in. <laughs> hey, you want to come over? My bad. I'm just now seeing this. I had a horrible day at work, lol. I'm not really feeling like going out tonight, but I'll be free later this week. Okay, I'll be home in Louisville tomorrow so we can meet up in Louisville if you want. I love you. <laughs> hey, uh, I haven't heard from you in a minute. I hope you're doing okay and hope you're safe. Who's this? It's Josh. We met in Sharky's bar. I blocked you because you told me you love me and it weirded me out. Do not contact me again. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay, this just by the first two lines I, I've read already, I can tell this is going to be disastrous. 24-year-old <laughs> right Caucasian male, 133 IQ, 7 7.74 inch penis. Who measures it that specifically? You're just lying. No one measures it that specifically. Still looking for an anarcho-capitalist girlfriend. No idea what that means. Must be under 5'6". And at least somewhat mentally stable. Willing to settle for minarchist or... What the f... Shut the fuck up. Or right libertarian if above 8 out of 10 in appearance. Preferably of Atlanto... Min what the fuck? <laughs> Descent because I seldom date outside my anthropological sub race. Hit me up, bitch. Yeah. I'm sure you've got loads of responses. Oh god, a Snapchat message and I see the word bitmoji. This is not gonna end well. Um, hey, I couldn't help but notice your bitmoji looks awfully lonely, blushes and... Blushes and grind? What? I was just wondering if a pretty girl like you would want to give a nice guy like myself a chance. Turns head to show off jawline flexes biceps subtly. That's satire. That's satire. Million percent satire. Not falling for it. I am crying. I thought you were a good person. I've never begged nobody like this before. Please, just a photo of your tits. That's it. Please. It's, just, it's a rational request. Give them away once. Psst, what? Everything's a dildo if you're brave enough, so why not try me? Well, what the fuck? So is that a yes? Absolutely not. LMAO. Please. If you hit a girl with the please and that doesn't work, nothing will. Wait, what is this? Buying AI friends on Snapchat. What the fuck? Uh, my AI chat asks questions and have fun with your unreal best friend. You have to pay $50 a year. Fuck that. You sure you could pay a, a real person to be their friend for that much? We had an amazing dinner and a delicious dessert and then enjoyed a great movie we've both been looking forward to and there's just, uh, just some meals there, some card, like a Pokemon card. Oh, he's taking a fucking body pillow to the cinema to watch Sonic the Hedgehog. Average Sonic the Hedgehog enjoyer. <laughs> Do it the cheek it does every day to I get a girlfriend. Day 1,111. I saw this guy. I'm pretty sure this this guy was in one of my videos like two years ago. He's still going. My guy, this is just a self-fulfilling prophecy at this point. Stop with the chica dance and then and then maybe you will get a girlfriend. Why are Japanese girls so hard to talk to? I'm polite. Each time I approach one, I say, could eat you. <laughs> I always ask them about their favorite anime before talking about my waifu. They're usually really shy, which is cute, IMO. But I hate that I have to be one to constantly engage in conversations with them. And how they usually get disinterested because I'm a white guy. Yes, I get that it's awkward because of things like power armor. I don't hold it against them. 
<laughs> they weren't in unit 731, so why would I judge them for it? Why can't the... It, what? Just realise that I respect Japanese culture and that I really want to be part of it. I'm willing to marry a Japanese woman, adopt Japanese children, and even live in Japan for the rest of my life. Well, I'm sure Japan would be very lucky to have you as a citizen. Hell, I'm even learning the language by watching undubbed anime. Plus, I cook a mean bowl of rice. For those who don't know Japanese, <laughs> eat a lot of rice. I do too. My mum says that I act like a Japanese person because of all the rice I eat and all the anime I watch. <laughs> this is the most tragic comment I've ever read. I don't even know what this was in response to. What would you rate this girl on a scale of 1 to 10? Man, I can't do this right now. Oh, 10 out of 10. We love women here. So if you uh, saw her walking around man, like downtown man. here, what would you say to her? I'd say, hi, nice to meet you. That's all? Uh, yeah, polite that's guy. All. Very oh, polite right man. Right now. Hi, nice to meet you. How's it going? What's your name? Uh, my name's Charlie. What's yours? Charlie Ace. I'm taller than you, I think. Hey, listen. I, you know, short kings for the win. I'd like to Absolutely. not second Absolutely. Absolutely. I think I'm going to head oh. out. He's intimidated. Yeah, I'm just going to go. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no reason to be that mean or just that rude or that blunt. Goodness. <laughs> hey, honey, show me your honkers. Honkers. <laughs> An awful fucking word. Guys inspecting statues at Anime Expo in Japan. Dude, holy crap, this guy. Oh my god. It's a statue, my guy. It is a... Absolutely it's, it's a statue. What are you expecting to see? Hey, number neighbor. Hi, who is this? Just a little thing going around on the internet where people send a text to the person with the same number, except the last number is either one more or one less. Oh, cool. How old are you, lol? I'm 23. How about you? 13. So you're 23 doing an internet challenge. <laughs> so the people who said, I can't name my son Dharma. I mean, you can't say she don't look like the type of person to want to call their son Dharma. Doesn't get any more depressing than this. Fucking hell. Pick a struggle, man. All right, so this is a Tinder bio. About me, human, barely. I am constantly suffering an insurmountable amount of pain and agony. I genuinely hate myself. No woman in her right mind would sit in the passenger seat of a car that I'm driving. You're really selling yourself here, pal. Fucking hell. I bet, I bet you've got so many matches on Tinder. Personality and confidence are myths. Being depressed puts a cool filter on your view of life and the world. I don't think it does. I think you're just trying to sound edgy. No matter how hard I work, I'll never live up to your standards. I'd say it's over, but it never really began. Oh, but apparently he's better in person. Right? I'm not going to judge this book by this cover. Actually, you know I am. It's fucking awful. He's a bit of a fixer-upper, if you will. Right, so someone posted this shit painting. <laughs> and they're selling, selling a painting. <laughs> I take it your child made this. Too cute. How much do they want for it? Actually, I made it. <laughs> I have no children. <laughs> Sorry, very nice. It's not. You don't need to be kind. It's not very nice. I write my Reddit post before I go to bed so that when I wake up, I usually get a notification so it feels like I have a girlfriend who sends me good morning texts. That is the saddest shit I've ever read in my life. I use mobile Reddit. It's more convenient that way for me. I'm 21 and I've yet to be in a romantic relationship and it's going to stay that way for a long time. Really? I, I wonder why. In the meantime, I also do this so that I can appreciate the people of Reddit who are willing to respond and have a conversation with me or just someone giving their opinion about my post. But when I see the pink light on my phone continuously flash, I think it's her sending me a good morning text. <laughs> I'm pathetic. I know this is what I do to cope. At least he knows he's fucking pathetic. <laughs> Holy shit. I feel like I'm, I'm kicking a man while he's down by saying that's pathetic. But he admits it's pathetic. Filled him with warm water so it feels <laughs> real. Ugh. That, I don't know what this is in response to, by the way, but I completely understand you, bros. Girls can be incredibly toxic, but don't give up. You can still get her. I'll teach you how I cure my heartbreak and depression and change my life. Here's what you must do to change your life. Number one, start watching how to date. <laughs> The best piece of advice on Reddit. Yes, he is sexist and says... <laughs> that's a good way to start. Yes, he is sexist and says some conspiracy theories, but trust me, he will change your life to the... I'm not going to read the rest of this. 